Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Keith here again. So in this video, we're going to be looking at how to, uh, not a how to, but more like just a couple tips and tricks on the command line when using JAWS 2020 screen reader. So JAWS 2020 screen reader is not something that I use often for coding. However, I do use it pretty often for like whenever I engage in Microsoft products like uh, Word and Excel, PowerPoint, things like that. So before we get started in this video, if you wouldn't mind smashing that like button, it really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you're new here, thank you for joining us. And uh, if you like this video, these types of videos, please consider subscribing. And if you do so, click that bell icon to get notifications whenever I come out with updates. And if you are already a subscriber, I want to thank you very much for your support. So in this video, again, we're going to be using JAWS 2020 screen reader. And we're not going to be looking at any Windows command line. We're actually going to be looking at a more, um, you know, basically the only thing you would see uh, for a command line when you're in web development, and that is Linux. So it is called Git Bash, and it's the command line that come with the Git Bash suite of tools that you get when you download Git for Windows. And um, it's all Linux based. The commands are all Linux. So we can execute um, file. We can handle files and execute commands and things like that. But uh, they're all Linux commands, no Windows. So what we're going to do is I want to show you a few things that you might you might already know. But if you don't know, um, hopefully they help you out if you choose to use JAWS with uh, web development. So the first thing is, is I want to show you how to make sure that you get that information back after you type in a command. So as of right now, we are sitting inside of our terminal. Title is M-I-N-G-W-64 colon slash C slash Z slash docs. All right, so we check our terminal title, and it actually tells us the name of the terminal and then uh, where we're at as far as in the drive. So we can do a PWD and check the uh, our location. So that's our um, working directory. So we can do PWD and press enter. PWD, enter. All right, so if you listen, you don't hear anything, so we don't get any feedback. Um, the way that you can fix this on the fly, you can fix this by pressing JAWS key, which is the insert, JAWS key plus S, as in Sierra, all. and you hear all, none, none highlighted. highlighted. So all this is is just echo. It echoes any pop-up text or display text on the screen, and um, any type of output inside of Git is git bash is considered that just a uh, um some type of output on the screen that's just like a flash so we want to make sure this is all now this is just a temporary solution as soon as we switch windows this will go away so let me first show you what this is going to do so if we now do pwd again type it in press enter PWD, enter dollar pwd slash c slash user slash black black at laptop dash jimf mingw64 Tilde dollar pwd slash c slash user slash black black at laptop dash conjunct mingw six. All right, it's giving us a bunch of information. The way that we can make sure that we don't get a bunch of feedback like that is to clear our screen. So we type clear, press uh, enter, clear. enter black at laptop dash and now do pwd press enter pwd enter slash c slash zam slash docs black. All right, so we immediately get the feedback of our our working directory, which is c colon slash xampp slash high docs or hg docs so that's how you get that information back now as soon as we switch a screen like this so alt tab alt tab back and all i have to do is up arrow because it that takes me to the recent command i gave it press enter okay and you hear again we're not getting anything all right so one way we can fix this is by pressing jaws key plus v is in victor quick settings dash minty all right, so it puts us in our quick settings. We want to tab, let's see. Uh, so we're in a search box. We actually want to type um, highlighted. So I believe no we can just, or, I can't remember. Like I said, I only use JAWS very often. 
Let me see. It might be Echo. Screen Echo. One of two search. Oh yes. Okay. So Screen Echo. So you type in Echo and press tab. Two search result list box. Screen Echo highlighted. General. All right. So right now you hear Screen Echo highlighted. So that's the default. We're gonna press space on this to cycle the options. Space. All. Three of three. And we're gonna set it to all. So that's exactly what we want to do. Um. From here, I can't remember if you do a Control S. Let's just tab. OK button. Search box at two. Expand trick. OK button. We're gonna press OK. M I N G W six. And then now let's do a P W D. P W D. Enter. Slash C slash Zamp slash Docs. OK, so uh, it it gave us it gives us that feedback like we want. Let's switch a screen. To move to an item. And then come to back. To an item. And then that was just an Alt tab. Then Alt tab back. No, up arrow. Press enter. enter. Slash C slash Zamp slash. Good. Okay, so it keeps the setting. All right. So, and that's what you want. You want that that echo to be on, but you don't want that when you're in another screen because it could. I mean, it could stop part start telling you information from all over the place. So, the next thing I want to show you is how to actually read um, what has been outputted because right now we're just listening to it output automatically. So, um, as soon as it's done. It's uh, we we have to navigate to it to read it again or type the command again. But as you heard earlier, it can get a little clustered and then you have to do a clear. So but what I'm going to show you right now is I'm actually going going to first show you how to do it and then show you um, kind of what it looks like when it's empty. So right now we know that we have had an output three or four times of the directory that we're in. So if we, to navigate and see this, we want to first activate our JAWS cursor, which is the minus sign on, minus sign on your numpad or um, JAWS key left bracket if you're on a laptop. JAWS cursor. So once we've activated this, we've entered a different zone. Uh, we've come from being in the command line or the the line where you actually type the command um, into the output window and below so if we control in bottom of file that's going to put us at the bottom of the screen so we should only be two blank spaces below the dollar blank sign, blank 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 dollar blank out. which we were three or four but that's still okay so this brings us to where we would type our command now if we keep up air and blank, above this slash C's dollar pwd all right, so I've come to the the most recent one we've outputted, and first I want to show you. So you see that this line dollar PWD. is dollar and then PWD. So any Linux terminal line, you're going to see that dollar, and then PWD is the command right below that. C slash M slash docs is the output. Now we can navigate this by um, single character with left or right arrow. C S space space. Or we can use control to do it by word. Slash P W D slash C slash and then, slash C slash X. Now I'm doing by character. Or again, we can go up and down for line by line. Page up cycles you. I'm not sure how much, but enough. And then control home would just take you to top of file. The top of the window. Okay, so blank blank to get right back to your line, you just get back to your PC cursor. So it's plus on your numpad. Or you can do JAWS. Um, PC cursor. It is semicolon. Yeah, JAWS key semicolon. PC cursor. If you're on a laptop. Okay, so the last thing I want to show you is how to paste. So you can't do your conventional control V. That's not going to work. So what you need to do is let's say that we've copied something in maybe you're reading a tutorial uh a react or laravel something where you're on the command line and you're having to paste um oh my goodness when you curl things all right your your http string could be forever long so you're going to want to copy and paste so the way that we're going to do that is i've already i believe i've already got something in the clipboard i can paste so we'll see but the way that you want to do it is Dollar. you want to make sure you're on your command line. You want to root JAWS to PC. So JAWS key minus sign. If you're on a laptop, that's JAWS key root JAWS to PC. Left bracket. Now you want to right click 
you want to do this with either the star symbol on your numpad or if you're on a laptop caps lock nine right mouse button context menu to navigate and that will pop up a context menu now in here Copy control plus we down paste arrow shift. twice and it gives us the ability or the option to paste and we press enter, enter. leaving menus M -I -N -G -W and then we can read our current on and it's exactly what i thought so i still have this in here now what i did was i just pasted a url to my github repo and that is how you paste into your command line so i hope you learned something from this video if you did again please uh, smash that like button it really helps out with that youtube algorithm and this right here was how to uh just basic tips um when using jaws screen reader in your terminal so uh, again i hope you enjoyed and i will see you in the next one